pockets. A fortress. Put your party shoes on cause we're gonna sing all night And don't you dare deny a beat cause you know I'm right, yeah Alright, I'm not trying to sing the sun out here but Why are we here again? Why are we just sitting here? Well, you're the one who wanted to order a pizza and that's why we are sitting here Because we're here to eat it I know, but there is an adult lounge over there, you know we can just go over there and Oh please Last thing we want from you is to go over to the adult lounge and drink on our son's birthday. His birthday's not for another like two days. Why are we still celebrating it now? Because it's on a Monday. We'll be busy tomorrow, so we might as well just do it right now. Well, I haven't heard from him for like 30 minutes. I wonder what he's doing. He's probably just messing around in the arcade since there's not really a whole much he can do since the scuba diving area is closed and well, the adult lounge is. Hey mom. Hey dad. Um, son, what happened to you? Well, I got hurt, and well, a nice doctor, he tendered to me. Tender to our son. Yes, your son was hurting, so I came to his aid. Yeah, now we have to go to his office so he can help me. I mean, it is our son, but ugh, this is mean we have to pay. No, I was built to heal. It's all free. Uh, I mean, last thing I want for my son on his birthday is to get hurt. What do you say, honey? Yeah, I mean, may as well go with him. Let's go. Good. Follow me. Ha <laughs> Welcome to my doctor's office. Please, take a seat on the bench. You're welcome. Besides, doctors aren't even that scary. Okay? You're fine. You know, you're pretty lucky. Most kids who come here aren't safe. safe. They never get hurt. They never come. Oh. Well, I guess that's why you're here, Dr. Stanley. Whenever someone's in hurt, you come mm. to their need. That's why I've came to heal. I, I don't mean to rush things, but do you think you can hurry up because, you know, we have a life to live. We want to go home. I mean, yeah, I mean, I do want to see my friends later. Yeah, like, you haven't even started, like, Tendering to my son. Like actually doing it. Oh, I was just setting it up. The real office is behind you. What is this? Okay, this is getting shady. 
we just follow him or do we just leave? Well, we don't really have medical supplies or even band-aids at home. Please, Dad. Wait, wait, son. Son, you can't just walk into this. What? Son! Hey, what are you doing? You can't just follow the robot out here. I know, but... I mean... I'm not gonna lie, my imagination is kind of taking the best of me right now. Yeah, I don't know what's going on either. We're leaving. What the hell? <laughs> Hey, damn it! Why, why did you close the door on us? Thirty-four years ago, our town had an incident that we chose to forget. Lives were taken and demons were walking. It doesn't take long for the police to get involved in this town. I've lived in this town for a long time. Ghosts to break me. It was horrible for like me and my wife, but I'm just glad we managed to make it out of there alive.
Aw, oh, there's my big handsome boy. Yeah. Did that leave already? Oh, you know your father. Always working hard and hardly working. And I still don't understand what that means. Hmm. Yeah, he's been saying that ever since you were born, Bubba. Yeah. Who knows why I didn't get to see you and Dad do. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, um, what time did Paula say she was going to be over? Well, she said she's going to be here a little bit later. But, I mean... I mean, she's probably not going to show up at the time you wanted her to show up, like, at 6. It's way too late, Mom. She probably has to go to bed soon. She's 19 years old. I don't even know if she has a bedtime still. Alright, well, I'm going to go away. I'm going to go clean the house just to be ready for tonight. Oh, and also, I have to pick up some more groceries. So when I go pick up your dad, it's going to be a little bit longer, okay? Right on, Momski. <laughs> That's nothing. When he was younger, he ate a whole Oreo without even chewing it. Hey, don't listen to her. Well, come on, Terrence. Don't shine from who you are. <laughs> yeah, that's why I fell in love with you, remember? Yeah. Alright. It is true. I did eat hail my food a lot. <sighs> yeah. I remember when I was his age, I made some dumb choices that made me stand out from the crowd. <laughs> Okay, I think it's time we finally get to the reason why we are all here tonight on this table. And that is... Come on, tell him. Okay. Mom, Dad, I finally got a job. What? No, no goddamn way. There's no way you actually got a job. Hey, can I use a large name in vain like that? Wait, you knew Charlotte? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't even know what he's working at. Well, this is news to me. My whole family betrayed me, including his, my son's girlfriend. Ah, don't worry, Dad. Alright. Y'all ready? I mean, I mean, I told Paula what I work at, where I work at already. Yep, still betrayed. Anyways, son. Okay. Okay. I am working at Sammy Scales Big Top Banquet. What? Yeah, he's a chef. You guys should really see him at work. He just, he makes some good clam chowder. Oh, so that's how you're using my talents? For Satan? What? Not the reaction I was hoping for? Uh, yeah, no, that's not the reaction I was hoping for either. Son? something you should know what what did i do i just told you i'm working at a restaurant a kid's place of all things get up sweetheart good luck i should have told you this but you did not need to work there at all what why oh, since the day i was born i've always wanted to be a chef this is the cheapest position I can find, in town. It's not the point, son. The point is that our town has suffered dramatic loss from that company's name. What are you talking about, Dad? It's a kid's place. That is true, but it has a dark past that I've been keeping from you ever since you were born. I never wanted to tell you it. But that's the reason why your mom's arm is missing. It's true. Why did you keep this from me? Because, son, knowing you, you're curious, and you're just going to go right into the world and face it. Oh, so we're just throwing out insults now? That's not what I'm... <sighs> Listen, 34 years ago, a child lost his life. He put a bad name on that place, and I'm not telling you what happened. Because it is just way too much to go into. Dad, you're going to tell me what happened. No. Dad, I work there now, 
And if you're concerned about my safety, then it's best I know what happened. I'm not telling you. Dad, tell me. No. Dad, you always wanted to make sure that I was safe. You always wanted to make sure that I didn't take the dark road. And apparently, according to you, I did. So tell me, what happened? My mind is made up. I'm not telling you. My mom's arm is gone because of this. What happened? Cut this shit out. I'm not telling you. You're gonna tell me right now. I don't care. I said no. I know you mean well, and I know you want to keep them safe, but for keeping this a secret, get out. I always feared this would happen one day. Thanks for taking me. It's okay. I'm always here. I'm sorry about what happened last night. Ugh. It's not your fault. I can't believe my mom and dad were keeping something from me all my entire life. Well, okay. Well, when you get off, is it okay if I pick you up? Eh, it's okay. I'll call an Uber. Okay, wait. To where? Your place. I'm not going back there for a little bit. Um, uh, okay. I don't know what my mom will say, but... Okay. Good luck today. Hey, lover boy! Get in here! Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was my girlfriend. Wait, that was your girlfriend? Yeah. Jeez, how that happened. Anyway... Alright, so what do you need me to do? Well, it's early on a Saturday, so we have to pretty much get stuff clean. So, I recommend that you go clean up some dishes real quick. So that way, we don't have any dirty ones when we're in the kitchen show up. Alright, sounds like a plan, Stan, or I mean, Harley. Oh yeah, do you know what happened to Sammy? What? Oh yeah. Well, when Natalyn came in, um, yesterday she noticed that he wasn't working so she had to have the engineers take him out and he's just sitting in the back rooms right now all right then I'm gonna go to the sink okay let's get the cleaning Ow, 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 Oh my god. Ugh. Hit my foot. Oh my god, Terrence! Terrence, are you okay? Uh, not really. It landed on my foot. Ugh. Ugh. Get the first aid kit if you can. Uh, uh, okay. okay. Ugh. <laughs>
gotta get out of these chains. Holy oh, shit! Oh my god! What the hell are you? Oh, that's not a nice way to treat a lady. Ain't that right, Terrence? Okay, slow down for a second. First of all, what the hell are you? Two, how the hell do you know my name? And three, what the hell? The heck? Where, where am I? Shh. Don't scream. You'll draw attention. And if you do, more will perish. Well, I'm gonna scream until you tell me what the heck's going on. You'll find out sooner or later. Put me down! <sighs> Let's see how strong your bones are. Get away! Get the hell back! Get the hell back! What are you? What is going on with the robots? As expected. New worker. You're first exposed to this, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Why? Why aren't you attacking me? I have my reasons. Well, one I won't get into now. We decided to stay here at a bad time. What are you talking about? What's going on? I recommend you put that shirt on and skedaddle with me. It's walking around. What is? So, come in. In here. I can't believe this is happening. What is going on? I'm hiding with you. Now you have to tell me what is going on. You seem tempted to know. I'm surprised you don't know about what's going on in this place. 